right to raise his left hand in the air. His right one too, perhaps later, should he go on to win. 100. Any extra pressure on Lloyd as the champion and, let's be honest, Rod, as the man who hasn't been in the greatest of form, notwithstanding what you just said about him beating Baxter and Taylor in exhibition. Yeah, certainly coming in as the uh, reigning champion, there is a lot of pressure on you. And he's gone back to the world number one and uh, he feels that he should be, you know, playing brilliant all the time. And uh, that don't always happen. Um, you know, even Taylor has his off days, which is, we've seen that in the last couple of TV events. But this looks like a perfect 180. He'd be disappointed not to hit the 180 there. And another packed house here on a very hot night in Blackpool. In more ways than one, the heat is on. 56. What a great night of darts. What a wonderful first game. Barry Bates coming back. I thought he was actually going to do what he did to Alex Roy at Bolton and come back complete. The, uh, Victory in the end, but all credit to Kevin Painter. One Essex man through, and we're guaranteed an Essex man through 100. here. Colin, you require 147. 147. 15 blacks, 15 reds, and all the colours. Yeah, all he needed to do was really set it up realistically. He'd be thinking that uh, Macy won't take out the 146, but he took out a 106 in the first leg. And this will be a cracker. I would stay there if I was him. Yes, he took your advice. We saw Dennis Priestley go an interesting wow, way on that five. last night. 146, Colin he went two treble 15. 19s. As uh, Lloyd now looks at to break back, double 16. A fraction in from here. 18. Yes, couldn't really afford it. Could go 2-0 down here, 41. Rob. Yeah, he could. The first dart covered it up, but uh, Macy now he's going to go. Well, that surprised me. He wants 32 for 2-0. Double eight. Big dart here for Steve. Game Big dart and a superb dart. Lloyd, uh, four darts at a double so on. far. No hits. Mesh, three darts at a double, two hits. Therein lies the difference. 93. Lloyd has outscored his opponent so far in the early part of this game, but it's doubles for no. Was an Essex man who said that, Rod, I seem to recall, yeah. many years ago. A few years ago. But uh, what Colin's got to do now is get back a leg very quickly here. He can't let Steve get too far in front because and uh, it could cause a, you know, a bit of a problem. Looks very relaxed, Steve. Mind you, when you're 2-0 up and you've been given an opportunity, it's a little bit easier to relax. Lovely story how these two first met each other. Really is playing Super League. Colin Lloyd for the King's Arms in Tiptree in his own locality, Essex Super League. And this lad turned up with the Thames side uh, team, expecting victory. One hundred. He gets a ton. And they had to have the teams that day for the next Essex County match, Rod. And. Uh, Colin recalls he was 17 at the time and he said that was when I made my uh, when I was picked for the very first time and I was picked for the Essex B team and this lad Steve Mage came in he looked down the teams and he said who on earth is this Colin Lloyd never heard of him he did later 16. in that evening because uh, they drew each other in the Super League match Lloyd won with a 35 average and Kevin Painter who was playing in the same team as Lloyd came up and said to Mage that's Colin 96. Lloyd, you know him now. <laughs> Steve, you require 120. And they've been good mates ever since, but there's nothing pally up there right now. As Mace wants 115. Now a 96 he wants, treble 20 leaves, double 18. Well, I think, well, I think he's got 42 left, hasn't he? Colin, you require 104. Yeah, Lloyd is looking, he's got to take this out. That's a treble one, treble 17 for Bullseye. Just going to have to set it up and hope that um, Stevie Mace misses. After he's through two Stevie doubles in the first two legs, uh, can't see him missing. No, great opportunity to go 3-0 up, but with two breaks of throw. You know, Rod, he hasn't missed that double yet Stevie. with the second dart. And he's done it again. Two breaks up here. This is getting serious. 
Lloyd has to break back here, you feel. Has to break back here. Yeah, you can't let people get too far in front, especially now Stevie Mace is two breaks up. Colin has got to start hitting the treble 20 like uh, we know he can. Putting two darts in the treble 20 now. That's a good uh, marker for Lloydy. Just come under that as well. That's a better throw. Well, Weren't so quick, more controlled, better release. Well, there's a big chance here for Lloyd to uh, get control of the leg. Fultito. Well, they call him Jaws. They call him Jaws as well, judging by those teeth. 60. Steve not uh, really pressurising Colin, giving Colin an outside chance to get control of the leg again. One Super grouping! Super grouping! Is this the start of Lloyd's revival? Great 180. Well, if he can take this leg and then uh, win the next leg with his throw, you know, three twos, a lot better Colin than four one. Yes. He's got to somehow retrieve the, those two breaks in the throw. We've seen lots of games where a player's Steve been three nil up, but he's only been one break up, having thrown first. But here, Mace through second, and uh, he's three nil up with two breaks. So he's looking at 18s because uh, 54. one, two, two, the Colin target with Bull in mind. But he's not going to get a shot if Lloyd takes this out. Got to come under now. Yes, Game must be re relief for uh, Colin Lloyd that run. Good yeah, it certainly is uh, when you hit your first double. First. Colin already missed double Game top on. and then missed 16, so he's feeling that he should have had a bit more control in this game. But uh, Steve Mace is a player that uh, if you give him a chance, he's going to he's going to cause you some problems. 57. This is an, such an important leg here for Lloydy. He's got to get this to go 3-2 into the first break. Yes, Mesh will still be one break ahead, but uh, it looks a bit more 99. respectable. And Lloyd can launch a real recovery after the break. But as you say, he's got to win this leg with throw and nothing convincing yet about it. 97. Although that's a lovely cover shot. Yeah, what you've got to do with this format, John, is just concentrate in trying to win every session 3-2. And if you're going to lose a session, you've... Only you've got to lose it 3 2. You mustn't lose it 4 1 or 5 0. And if you can get that thought pattern, it just goes like sets then. And uh, it's what Colin did against John Park last year and Adrian Lewis and Ronnie Baxter, and he come through it very well. 59. Been a few sweaty palms on this stage, but nothing about that one we saw. But, uh, very nice artifact. 100. Yeah, good last start there from Steve Mace, squeezing it between the two, but Colin's got control in the leg. He just needs a big score now. 100. Yes, they know each other's game very well, and Colin, quite rightly, I felt in his interview with Eric Bristow, was saying he'd be a very disappointed man if he were to lose. He knows that if he plays his best, he has the beating of this man. He knows if he doesn't that Mesh has the game to beat him. Yeah, certain uh, Colin's scoring power is, is up there with the best that's ever 58. been. He does hit the treble 20 well, but he has little dull periods. And last year in the first round against Paul Williams, he had a, a very close match and uh, come through that and you know went on to win. That's a bad first start from Stevie. 26. Now he's left himself 150, but Lloyd here with 130 to go into the break. He'll go treble 20. Now he wants the ball and he'll go for it. One Lucky. Some 25 left. Now Mace Steve is taken out 106 first leg. Stole it effectively. Can he steal this one with 150? The answer's no. So. 58. Yeah, he didn't really set Colin it up there. Colin now, ninth double eight for 3 2 to go into the first break. He's going 17 double four. 